What's up YouTube? It's your boy Herbhead here bringing you some new episode content to the channel. I just wanted to thank everyone ahead of time whether you stop by my live stream on Twitch or here on YouTube. You guys are awesome. Everyone continues to show endless amounts of support and I cannot thank you all enough. Now, you've all heard the saying, it's science, it's bro science, it's science bro. I'll be bringing you different episodes of pub science. We'll be getting into the whys, the do's, and the don'ts of S&D. Now, before we get started, I just wanted to clarify something. The rank that I carry in Search and Destroy does not reflect my skill as a COD player. It simply means I'm able to create unlimited content for everyone to sit back, watch, and learn what to do and what not to do. Most importantly, becoming better Search players. So for my very first episode, we'll be looking at a 1v5 on Overgrown, my thoughts as I was playing, and why I did what I did. Also remember, in the end, everyone has their own style of play. We're all going to make our own decisions. But whether you guys play competitive or casual, we're all here for the same reason, and that's to have fun. Please do not forget that. Alright, we're down 2-3. to three. Our team dropped out, leaving it a 2v5. Up until this point, I was sniping, decided to take out an M16. I wanted to keep some distance, but also play aggressive. Um, I went to go check the B cross because my partner went to A. Um, as soon as that happened, he got grenaded, which told me that they're going to be playing a pretty aggressive, but also most likely rush plant the bomb, the which they did. The I want to show you guys two things and analyze some situations so you can get a better understanding on gathering information. When and why I threw my two grenades, two rounds before I was grenaded by A House Stairs. The way they started this round told me that they were going to run the same routes and probably throw the same grenades. As soon as I got that information, I threw two of mine. One to the A house stairs, getting me that kill from him running the same route, and one at the A bomb, assuming that they were gonna quick plant the bomb. Unfortunately, I did not get the bomb kill, but looking at this map, I now know where two of the four enemies remain. So based off of how people play this map, there still can be many additional areas to where the two remaining players can be. I just went ahead and threw in a few questionable known areas so you guys can get a visual. To me, Search and Destroy is all about awareness and adaptation, adapting to your situation, to your surroundings, and adapting to your opponents. Imagine playing Search and Destroy with radar always on from the time you spawn until the round is over. Also getting into the habit of knowing where your team is, the direction they are looking, and the direction they are shooting. The guy who planted the bomb rushed to the top of the house. Killed him and went to check to see if someone was flanking. When I got the UAV, I went inside to where it was safe to use until I spotted the remaining two. Getting sloppy with my jump, I ignored him and focused on the other guy, then anticipated the last player to look out the window. After a moment, he jumped out thinking I was already defusing, I was able to get the last kill, and then the defuse. Even though everything worked out, Something that I would have done differently next time is using the bomb as a head glitch. Always protect yourself and reposition when you can. There you have it, a little breakdown of some Search and Destroy, the first episode of Pub Science. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up, drop a comment with your feedback. Also, if you aren't already, make sure you're following my Twitch channel where I live stream. The link is in the description box below. I will catch y'all next time. Peace out, YouTube.